My name is Frankie Perez. I'm a professional MMA fighter, 29 years old, and I'm 10 and 4. I started out fighting uh, very randomly. I just, uh, actually a friend of mine invited me to go see some fights at the local college. And uh, I invited my dad. So my dad and I went, and from the first fight to the last fight, uh, I fell in love with it. Actually my teammate now, Dante Rivera, was the main event that night. And uh, I ended up finding a coach through a mutual friend and uh, started training the next day. And my whole career just kind of snowballed from there. I. Uh, I trained every single day from the moment that I found that coach. I competed in my first grappling tournament two months later, and I knew I was in love with this game. Um, I was just focused on jiu-jitsu for about a year, uh, two years, and then I had my first amateur fight in September of 2008. I lost, and then I started fighting like every couple of months after that, and then uh, when I realized this is what I wanted to do, uh, I had the UFC in sight um, later on in my career and uh, went professional. I was 8-0 as a professional, took my first loss, um, and then I had my first televised fight right after that and ended up getting picked up by the UFC. Um, I fought for the UFC four times and um, now I, uh, I fought out my contract and now I'm fighting for a local organization where I started my professional career at Ring Combat. Bringing it home, staying local. Um, all my friends and family are coming out. It's back in Jersey. I'm looking very forward to it. I'm very excited to be back home. Uh, it's only about 50 minutes from my house. Um, I have a very tough opponent that is looking to prove himself against a UFC veteran. I'm not looking past him. Uh, trained my heart out for this one, and uh, I cannot wait to hear my walkout song and to walk out in front of all of my friends and family one more time uh, in Atlantic City on June 8th. So my last two fights, I'm actually on a two fight losing streak. Um, I lost to two tough opponents. Um, they were tough, you know, I, I'm a competitor and I'm a very competitive person. Uh, I hate losing, you know, um, but for me now and the length of my career, how long I've been doing this, you know, losing is a learning experience for me now. And, uh, you know, after my first Lost that I, I lost to Mark DeCasey, um, an undefeated fighter, tough guy. Uh, I took it tough. I took it very hard, but I was right back in the gym, and I needed to, you know, get better. And it just motivated me big time, you know. And then I uh, ended up fighting locally again to one of my the the, the opponent that I gave him my first loss, and uh, I trained my heart out for that fight, and he ended up beating me. You know, it's. He came out and he just took me down and laid on top of me, you know, at the end of the day he beat me. Uh, it's a hard pill to swallow when you put 12 weeks of your life and you dedicate yourself to something and you just get shut down at the end of the day, you know. Um, but there's nothing wrong with it, you know. Uh, you just have to build yourself from that, you know. It was tough, you know, going home and knowing that your last loss, you know, your last fight was a loss, you know. It's, it's tough to pill to swallow. but. If mentally you can break that and, and just nobody ever, you're only as good as your last fight and only your last fight lasts a week, you know? Uh, everybody always remembers it for a week and that's it. They're just You're just another body, you know? So as long as you can look at it as a building experience and, and just try to motivate yourself from there and say, hey, I'm, you know, I lost and it's over with, let's throw it in, throw it behind you and it's time to move forward. And that's what I'm doing right now. You know, uh, I'm on a two-fight losing streak, the first time ever in my career I've ever had a two-fight losing streak. And um, I'm just looking to start back up on the ladder and take the first step. And fighting locally is what I'm gonna have to do and fighting this tough up-and-coming guy, um, Jerome Mickles, uh, June 8th, is, is gonna get me there. So um, I put all of my, you know, I put all my eggs in a basket and I'm gonna go throw everything I can at this kid and, and get my W back, win in front of all of my friends and family, you know what I mean, and, and start my rise again to the top. We are Explosive Entertainment and welcome, welcome, welcome on this gorgeous Saturday evening for Mary and Joseph's wedding celebration. Now, not bad, not bad. One, two, and three.
this table. We call this table right here. So a lot of people, what they don't know is, you know, I train all week long, but I'm also in and out of meetings. And uh, once I'm done training during the week, I DJ and MC every single weekend. So my weeks never stop. They just blend in from one to another, but I absolutely love what I do. You know, um, I look at myself as a full-time entertainer, uh, whether it's in the cage or whether it's out in front of a wedding or DJing a bar mitzvah or a prom or whatever private event it might be. Um, I absolutely love what I do on both ends. I love training. I love learning new stuff. I love competing. Um, I love being a fighter, but on the other hand, I do love, you know, getting suited and booted, finding, you know, meeting a new bride and groom or a bar mitzvah boy or a bar mitzvah girl and celebrating their big day with them and having them put their party, their event in my hands to control, to motivate and to, you know, bring their entire party together and to have fun with them you know it's the biggest event of their life at that moment you know uh, you only get married once usually you know and for that one time for those four hours they're putting their party in my hands to celebrate with two families bringing them to one you know and i'm that guy to do it so whatever bs is going on outside of the world or whoever's fighting who whatever family drama it is i'm the guy to erase all that and to just start fresh the night of their wedding. And the same thing with their bar bat mitzvah, you know? Um, I love being an entertainer, I love controlling people on the mic, I love DJing, I love playing new music, new genres, and seeing what the music does to these people. Um, I love being a full-time entertainer, whether it's in the cage or whether it's, you know, at a venue in front of a room full of 200 people. You know, I love having fun, I love living my life, and that's where I feel like I'm at right now, living my life to the fullest. What Hell's Fusion has done for me, it's, and I don't want to sound cliche, it absolutely changed my life. Um, I was never big on rehab, I was never big on therapy, I was very old school, ice baths, suck it up, get a massage. Um, and when I first met, you know, Dr. DeMarco and Jordan and Jason and Denise and the whole crew here, um, it absolutely changed my life. Uh, cryotherapy is slim to none, this is the best thing in the world. Um, and getting adjusted by these guys and they actually fix you. It's not just coming in and doing a routine checkup or whatever it is that and a third. You might need that, but they actually hear you out, you know. Besides all of that, being an amazing doctor and everything, it's, you know, doctors, it's, they're great people, you know, the, the atmosphere here is always fantastic. Um, everybody's very personable, everybody's very professional. Um, they look and they act like they're having so much fun and they, they want to be here, you know, they're not just clocking in. Um, and since I've been coming here, my posture, my body, everything is always tip top shape and I always feel 110% going into all my fights because of the staff here, everybody working on me, taking their time to make sure that my body is absolutely perfect. Um, whether it's an adjustment, whether it's some kind of physical therapy, whether it's cryotherapy, whether it's doing normal tech glutes on my legs, on my hips, on my arms. The amazing staff here, Health Fusion is absolutely the best. I recommend it to anybody out there that is having some kind of pain or issue to come in, take a trial, figure out how they can help you and come in there because they changed my life and hopefully they can change yours.